fucking horse! Hey guys, and welcome back to part three of Scarface. Last time we took full control over Little Havana. After purchasing a few properties and gaining a storehouse, all things seem to be going good for the new fledgling Montana Empire. Is this what it's all about? Well, until the DS brothers killed our mother, and our lawyer Sheffield led us into a trap. Sheffield's waiting for us close by. The most obvious trap ever, I might add. Why the fuck don't Sheffield call me himself? I mean, total bullshit, and an amazingly sad example of how cool a remake of this game could be. If, like, decisions like this shit show were actually in your hands. <laughs> like Mass Effect. You talk too much. <laughs> like, I came prepared and still lost all my preparations. Why the fuck would anyone do this? Meeting over. Come to my mansion if you want to see me. Stupid. No one would do this. Anyway, bound by the gods of poor decision making, I'm left in Freedom Town. You fuck with me, you die! Resuming our desperate struggle against Sheffield's ambush. Pushing these assholes around like we were on the playground, I stole one of their machetes and ran off to turn the tables on the enemy. Oh, I will have my say in this game. Where did I go? Where am I? Why don't you just come on over here? Don't be shy. <laughs> no, I'm like taunting them over a loudspeaker. Oh boys, where am I? Collecting these morons into the open, one brave soul finally spots me, beginning the battle. Stealing his pistol, the odds were finally back in our favor. But not completely. Ooh, just what I was missing. Give me all your money, bitches. Heading upstairs and raging out across the catwalk, Absolutely laying waste to these guys. This dude in a jeep tries to, I think, escape? But fails in all regard. <laughs> what? Resulting in reinforcements from the north, and what the fuck? Pops is still here? What happened to your car, dude? Have a nice trip. <laughs> I'm so confused. Blowing through their reinforcements with laughable ease, I went after Pablo, in this phantom mystery boat. Wait, where's my boat? Is this my boat? Oh my god, I had this? All along? Fuck mine, this thing kicks ass. Clearly seeing that Pablo has made a grave mistake, this dude is probably shitting his pants right now. His trap with Sheffield has now come full circle, right back to bite him in the ass. Not the way I wanted, I guess, but I'll take it. This gunboat makes me feel so much better. And what is happening here? Was that a belly smacker? What are you doing, boat? Riding off to our next investment, we arrive at O'Grady's liquor store, where we again speak with the owner fully expecting another bullshit errand before purchasing. I got the cash right here. Just show me what to sign my name. But luckily for us, Bam Margarita <laughs> only needs us to fight off some goons coming to shoot up the place. Bunch of goons been trying to muscle in on my profits and I've been tipped off that they're coming to shoot the place up any second. An extremely convenient and easily one of the funnest missions yet. One room, waves of enemies. I was having a whole ton of flashbacks to similar games at that time. There's just something so satisfying about absolutely destroying a room in a gunfight. I love it. Thanks, Bam. Oh, hell yeah, man. High five. <laughs> With O'Grady's liquor store ready for purchase, my finances were not. Honestly, even if they were, I would probably pass for now. Because with all of downtown open for grabs, there was one property I knew I had to own first. That's right. She's beautiful. Going to speak with the manager. Oh. Well, hello, ladies. Don't mind if I join you. I don't know see where you're going. Okay. 
Speaking with the manager, he explains that his head of security has received death threats and needs protection before he's willing to sell. And our security has been put on alert tonight because of a death threat against him. Another conveniently fun mission. I say this compared to driving around in a van dropping off papers. Because escorting this dude to safety, okay, including in a back alleyway shootout, is so much better. So much more fun. Fuck you! And with him safely secure in his getaway car, I went back to the manager to see what the damage was going to be. Perhaps we can work out a discounted price? Holy shit. I look forward to working for you, Mr. Montana. Well, <laughs> we're going to need to make some more money. <laughs> and in doing this, I thought, perhaps if we finish the other property missions downtown, we can hit two birds with one stone, leaving the city open for our finances to catch up. Ugh. That's all we need, sir. You sure? Getting completely screwed by the bank, I set off with our half a mil to Eugene Shotgun Bar, a cool hip spot to add to our empire. Hey, you got a nice place here. Kind of like a sewer, you know? After getting the rundown from the owner, I'm once again thrown for a loop as... Now I'm taking on the role of a hired assassin. Hired by me. Yeah, Tony. You gotta fix this mess, man. Bring your tools, man. I need you to clean some shit up. I don't get it. Why the fuck am I still doing this, then? Regardless, this mission, like so many others, decides to almost magically take me back to the mid-2000s. The driving and soundtrack. Oh my god. So awesome. Yet, for as much fun as this all started, it quickly went to shit as after my race to the assassination station, <laughs> wherever they wanted me to be, and scoping the entire armada of boats, I began to lose sight of the targets and eventually fail the mission. Resulting in my favorite game trope of all time. Do the easy thing over and over, just so you can get to the hard part that you fail at. Which, I don't know about you guys, but for me, always results in me eventually fucking up the easy part too. Damn these fucking jumps! Kill me! Needless to say, I was eventually able to kill this guy, though I swear I got lucky this time because I didn't kill nearly as many to win for some reason. <sighs> Would you look at that? Not a single penny, too. Thanks. Got $250,000 for the Babylon Club mission, but I didn't get fucking anything for this. Makes sense why I want it now. Doesn't it? It's Puro. You can't lose money. No way. Yet, these are all issues that can be solved with an old-fashioned game. And, oh golly, Miss Molly, look at that. Almost doubled my fucking money. Big score, fellas. To the bank immediately. Three percent, baby. Yes! That I like. As a favored customer, Mr. Montana, you qualify for a special rate. Oh yeah. Repeating this process again near Coco's Bar and receiving another 184,000, we grew ever closer to our goal. Holy shit. With so little left to go, I figured why not roll the dice and see if the last property in downtown will provide us with the necessary funds. Arriving at Fidel's records and tapes. Fidel's records and tapes. This Tommy Lee sounding dude. Fucking A. Needs his demon music back from his friend. If you get the tapes, I'll definitely work for you. An important point that I ignored when I eventually killed him. Don't fuck! Don't fucking fuck! Oops a daisy. Can't get much clearer than that, can you? <laughs> My bad. Oh well, instead, leading us on an epic car chase across the map, we're bumping into him was the name of the game. He eventually gets out, and a new type of chase began. All right, dude, get back here. <laughs> In head. You piece of shit. Night, night. So I guess substituting the killing for a savage beatdown. Yep. 
Can't say the guy didn't deserve it, though. <laughs> Returning the tapes to the owner, he was pleased as usual, giving us the exact amount of money needed to buy our fabulous club. I'm ready to expand your empire. Yet with a dose of irony strong enough to make me cry, the fucking bank took me for another ride, <laughs> leaving us just under what we need. You fuckers. Look, Tony, you have to understand my position. Look at it from my side. Traveling to a local park, I initiated another gang war to get us back to that glorious amount. With my AK doing business for our business. It was four reloads and 146 rounds later that the package was ours and the Babylon Club was within our grasp. And there was nothing that the greedy banks could do about it now. Nice tits. They're homegrown. Arriving like I'd soon owned the place. I went to the back and dropped our mill on the hottest club in town. Time to go tell everyone. Attention, everyone. I'd like to make an announcement. I, Tony Montana, is now the owner and supreme leader of this establishment. Why is no one listening? Tough crowd out there. Oh my god, where's my reflection? Well guys, I hope you all enjoyed part 3 of Scarface. This episode was a lot of fun. Most of the missions were pretty action-packed, including that liquor store mission that had me grinning from ear to ear. It's safe to say our empire is now growing rather steadily, considering some of the minor setbacks but I'm happy with our progress. We got clubs and girls. What more do you need? Okay, I'm gonna make a big picture of sangria. You got any oranges? So thank you guys so much for all the support. You guys are truly the best. Stay tuned for part four, where we will launch both our empire and this club into the stratosphere. And as always, thanks for watching.